sports and athletics and getting better, there's very little science behind a lot of stuff. It's just, okay, what does the best person in the world do? Let's everybody copy it. Well, it doesn't work that way because each person's body is kind of different. And what CrossFit does, it hits every facet of the, the your physical anatomy. It trains every type of your uh, metabolic pathways. Um, you know, it's dealing with strength, it's dealing with endurance, it's dealing with speed, accuracy, agility, um, everything you need to do to be a good athlete. Uh, not only can you run a very fast 10 k uh, 5K, but you can lift a shit ton of weight. And that's never really been taught before. It was always, you know, always under the assumption that, okay, in order for me to be a, a badass deadlifter, I can't, I'm not going to be a good runner or a good swimmer. Or I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of pull-ups, but CrossFit totally broke the mold on that, and uh, so I fell in love with it. And it was challenging every day. You go and you just kick the shit out of yourself, but it was very enjoyable at the same time, and it, it became addictive. And you're doing it with a, a group of people, where you're all suffering together, and so that has a real big community bond. You're not in the head, you're not in the gym with your headphones on doing bicep curls in the mirror. You know, it's not the type of a uh, uh, workout it is. Hmm, what do I play this? I can kill this and see what he spawns. Hmm, let's do that. Let's just kill this motherfucker, see what he see what he spawns out of it. Nothing? Wasn't Oh, he doesn't have... Oh, we got lucky there, boys. We got really lucky there. But, uh... That's when I started CrossFitting. Uh, caught on to a quick... Studied my ass. I've, I've, I mean, I've watched... 7,000 CrossFit videos, I think, at this point. Um, I'm on it every day. That's what I do. It's my enjoyment. Uh, it's my entertainment, pretty much. Um, so, so once I started coaching, you know, it, it, I had that same, uh, fulfillment, um, started competing, of course, unfortunately, uh, the last three years have been miserable for me physically, um, very mentally hard too, cause I've always been a really good athlete competing, but I end up having two knee surgeries, complete, uh, uh, quad tendon replacement. I have a cadaver, a dead person's, uh, tendon in my left knee um i need my oh nice well played sir but he's dead anyway most likely here uh, let's put this out yeah i mean if, unless he gets uh his motherfucking what's that dude's name jurassics we got him but um, I guess he can put up some big shit and get some taunts out too. We got a silence and a uh, hunter's mark still left, but we'll see. And a couple turns we got this. Um, so I started coaching. Uh, just you know, other soldiers got into it myself. Started competing. Wasn't. Oh fuck. Got injured right at the 2000. 2013 actually. Um. The 2013 Open, I was uh, I was poised to uh, go to regionals in Asia, which was it was it is the easiest region at the time. Well, Africa maybe, but uh, it was um, kind of uh, disappointing. I I went ahead and did the Open workouts almost a year later after rehab, and I still I'm still recovering. I still can't you know squatting still hard. My my squat dropped from 550 to a 365 and that's after rehabbing for a long time um but i redid the workouts and i would have qualified 53rd which would have put me it would have put me in the uh enough to go to regionals because of all the people that went team so uh, fuck All right, where's Jurax's at? I know it's coming out. Hopefully you don't have it. But um, 
So I started doing that. Uh, came to Korea and just went hardcore with this. Started coaching. Started uh, getting into the community in Seoul. When I first got here, there was two CrossFit gyms. Since then, I've it's uh, been up. It's oh fuck! I thought we had a weapon left. Damn man, what the fuck are we gonna do with this? Son of a bitch. Um, started getting into the community. Uh, when I first got there was two. Now there's 80, I think. So in three years, they've gained, you know, from two to 80. It's huge growth here. Um, thought, you know, why not? You know, there's something I've, I've always loved coaching. This is things I'd like to do. So let me, uh, s let me stick it out and stay here in Korea. And looking at a coaching job down in Goche Island. It's an island out to, or not Goche Island, sorry, Busan. And uh, live my dream. Uh, the problem is I'm getting older, man. I'm 38, and I've had five surgeries, uh, torn left quad, separated from the bone, uh, labrum in my left shoulder, and a right hip dislocation. So I'm pretty fucked up. Uh, I had a lot of back problems gr earlier. CrossFit actually helped my back a lot. So I have to re be real careful with my training. Um, so the, the training I did yesterday was a EMOM. Every minute, oh, fuck me. Man, he might come back and take this. Honestly, yeah, it looks like we are fucker rude. Silence. God, if a silence there, we win. Seven, eight, nine. I mean, we're still in it, but fuck. If we lose this one, I'll be pissed, man. We were so far ahead. What do we got here? Fucking snake trap. I call by Jigger, my nigga, slime all night. Uh, so. Anyway, a pretty cool workout I did yesterday was uh, every minute on the minute, you start off doing a overhead squat with, uh, I think I started with 65 pounds. That's game. Fuck. All right. I need a silence or a hunter's mark and we win. It's not what we needed, boys. Fuck me. Look at this. Just all the wrong cards at all the wrong time, man. Yeah, well played, motherfucker. I can't believe we lost that shit. Son of a bitch. Man, he had every answer. Like, just stupid luck there. That was a hard one to lose. We were so far ahead on that. So, as every minute on the minute, you start off with 65 pound overhead squat, which, if you guys have never overhead squatted, it's besides the snatch, is one of the hardest things I've done with a barbell. Um, it, you hold it locked out overhead, and then you go into a full squat, which the problem with them, I won't say Americans, males and males first is our whole life when we're lifting is everything's in here it's bench press it's it's fl cable flies things of that nature so we're very tight in our shoulders going overhead and then we sit at our computer we slouch we're kind of like this so we're not good at opening this position up i had to train that for about a year just to be able to get my shoulders back <coughs> thing is too is when you go into a squat position we're not inflexible in our, in our ankles believe it or not and it causes us to lean forward and our, our heel, if any of you squat, you've got probably uh, dealt with it where your heels want have a tendency to want to come up off the ground. So people will actually put, um, they'll put either plates under their heels. You're supposed to actually put them on your toes because you want to keep the weight on your heels. Um, but the reason why is because people, we're not flexible enough in our ankles. So when we go down to that position, uh, our knees will track over our toes. Um, it'll, it'll get us leaning forward and it puts us in a bad position. It puts a lot of strain on your lower back and your knees uh but what crossfit did is they taught us how to squat properly um we know how to squat our whole life you, you look at a key a kid a toddler when he sits you know he's, he's playing in the sand and he squats down perfect squat form it's because they're still flexible so if you can fix the flex flexibility issues on the ankles when you're squatting and learn to squat a lot of people were taught for one they teach it and I know in school, never squat below parallel, you're going to blow your knees out. That's fucking bullshit. 
I've had two knee surgeries, and I squat below parallel, and my knees are better than they were before my surgery. Well, they're not better, but uh, the flexibility and the strength is definitely a lot better. Uh, I might have to silence that shit. Um, actually, I'm going to silence it. No, I'm not. I lied. Silence it next turn. I want to get some damage out there. If he pops this now, I'll be pissed because th there's not a whole lot of threats. This isn't handlock, so I don't have to worry about the big taunts. So, I mean, that's going to be a problem if he fucking runs this into here and puts a... He puts a 4-4 four, four out. I mean, if he runs it in here, kills it. Yeah, fuck you. There it is. And now we got to wait for a Hunter's Mark, right? Deal with that motherfucker. Or we can kick back to his hand. That's also a possibility. We're not looking good, boys. All right, so what are our, is our options here? Not looking good. I don't know. And see what else I could have done there, really. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but you want to keep your back course upright when you're squatting. Not completely upright, but you, you definitely don't want to be leaning too far forward because it gets you out of balance and gets your livers, puts the stress on your lower back muscle to hold everything up, uh, get your knees track in the wrong position. Because we're always taught, that don't squat below parallel, and then kind of like your cross-country skiing, keep your knees straight, which is no. What you want to do is you want to put your, god damn, I hate that card. That's such a fucking imbalanced card. I think I need to add, oh man, I might have to add explosive trap to this, I really might. Now what do I do? I go face, right? I think I go face here. Force him to trade into us. Alright, uh, he's probably going to clear this with his whatever bullshit. If not, we got a lot of cards. He's not. We got a lot of cards all, buddy. Ah, we only got one out of it. Oh, here it is right here. He's smart. How do you know it was Snake Trap? What? Uh, okay. I don't know how much card draw we're going to get. Maybe a couple cards. But uh, you want to put your feet at about a 15 degree angle out and then push your knees out when you squat. You really want to force your knees out. Um... Fuck me. I probably should have waited. Maybe I could have got a hunter's mark out of it. I don't know. I mean, he's going to kill that off, of course, but oh well. But uh, he's down to 13 health. We got boom coming out next turn. And we got a we got this. We got this. We're sitting okay. But uh, yeah, you want your knees to track. I, I, I tell my clients, track it over your your ring toe. You know, your ring toe. It's kind of where you want to put your knees out. You never want your knees to pass it to extend past your toes, because that means you're too far forward. You want to you want to sit down kind of like you're taking a shit, you know, on a toilet. It's kind of the best thing. Don't hit, don't hit, motherfucker. Really, four targets. You got to hit that. You son of a bitch. Let me get doggies right here. I think we got a dog. Boom. Dogs would be nice though. I mean, you're looking at six damage to the face, five damage to the face, and then we get hunter's mark or. Uh, Whatever the fuck this is. Kill command? Alright, so we're going Dr. Boom, of course, right? Dr. Imbalance. Take that motherfucker out. There we go. I mean, he still can come back and win. They tend to, right? Big Game Hunter? Taunt. Alright. But, uh, yeah, so overhead squatting. Because when you put your hands over your head, if you just try to stand up right now, put your hands over your head, straight, locked out here, and then squat. You're, you're going to come forward. It's just a very, it's a thing you got to build on. Now try to imagine doing that with, you know, 150, 180 pounds over your head. It's a difficult thing to do. 
Wow, he's fucking us up. Kill that. Nice. Does he have to kill this? No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. 